Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for all the subscribers that I have. I know I haven't posted in like so long, but I was going through some stuff um, and everything. But this is my, this is the 20th day of, after my surgery. Um, yeah, it's about, it's the 27th. I had it on February 7th. Um, I had a support group that, not a support group, but I had to support people that was supposed to be with me during surgery. It was supposed to be my mom, my brother. Um, I didn't know if he was going to bring his wife or not, but they didn't come at nobody for my support. So I did it alone. I knew I was, I'm strong. I've been through a lot, so I knew right off back, um, I can handle it. But, um, I would say probably like the second day, second to the third day I was in recovery, I just, I broke down. I, I broke down. I don't have a boyfriend. I'm not even talking to any men right now. But everything happens for a reason. I knew if they would have came out here, something would have popped off. And everything. So everything happens for a reason. Um, but I still would have liked somebody to be there with me to go to the surgery. This is a major surgery. But um, I found out some cool shit when I was there. Um, I always get bit up by mosquitoes, right? And type O gets hit up the, the most. And even my card, my, my card, um, my mom had my card. And she gave it to me when I went back down to South Carolina or whatever. And... Um, I was just curious because I wanted to know for myself what is my blood type. I knew it was O, but something told me to ask the doctors, and they told me my blood was um A positive. I'm like, what? How did it go from A positive? I mean, from O to A positive. I never had a transfusion. I never um, donated blood or any anything that will alter my blood. But I think I know why, but that's another video. But um, I have some clips that I'm going to throw in and everything. Um, the pain level of... The surgery was a zero. I was freaking, I was gagged. I was so gagged. I was like so thinking I was going to have, I was going to be in pain because like you flick it, it hurts. But no, there was like no pain. I was gagged for days. I'm still gagged, but um. Everything everything went well. I had the peri um peri peritoneal pull through vaginoplasty. Um they told me last minute when my surgery date was and it, it wasn't even two months. It wasn't even two months after they told me that I have my surgery date. It was it was too soon. I have a laser hair removal stuff to go down there. And since they did that, since they let me know, like, um, <laughs> like, so late. That's why I did the perit peritoneal pull through because I didn't want no hair growing in my damn hoe. <laughs> and 
it's supposed to self-lubricate because it's it's the per peritoneal. So they their the procedure is they put the robotic through your abdomen. I'm thinking it was going to be like this one or two like incisions. Oh no, honey. It's like five incisions, but it's it's minor. They're gonna go away. Even when I did my breasts, they did it under here, and now you can't even see the scar, which is pretty good. Rachel blue Rachel um Rachel Blue Bond Lagner did my breasts. Um, Dr. Del Corral did my bottom surgery. He's gonna do my revision for my tops for, for my breasts, which is coming up soon. Hopefully, I will have some support. Today I actually um broke down again thinking about it because um, I had my doc. I had to. I messaged my doctor to let her know that Doctor Del Corral never got that um, the referral for my revision. So she sent me a message back saying um, she sent it. She she just sent it over, and I got emotional because I just had. A, I just went through a major surgery, and I had nobody there to help me. So. I live far from the hospital. Good thing for Medicaid, okay? Because if I didn't have Medicaid, I would have been stuck. Like, real talk. But, um, hopefully, hopefully, I'll have some support. Hopefully, I'll be talking to somebody. Or just as a friend, like, that's all I wanted. I just wanted somebody there. But it is what it is. I didn't feel punished or anything. Um, I knew God um, had some plans for me. This was what doesn't kill you is going to make you stronger. So this was like tailor-made for me what God plan was like everybody's plan is different that God planned um but anywho let's get back to the, the surgery my visit and stay was it was cool it, it was like it was totally different I was in my own room um, there was a lady that, um, I don't know, she, she wasn't a nurse, she was the cafe, she was the lunch lady that will bring your food. And she's from, she was from Thailand. She was the sweetest lady in there. Chantel was cool. A lot of the, the nurses was cool as shit. Don't get me wrong. Um, but that Thai lady... Yeah, I loved her. She, um, if you get any surgery done and you're in, um, the MedStar Hospital in Baltimore, or they, um, if you put it in Google Maps, it'll come up Rosedale for some reason. But any home, she's, she's, she's Thai, she's from Thailand. She has rosacea on her face and everything. And I just, I, how I am since I was, in there by myself. I had nobody to talk to. So, um, it was kind of hard to do any videos. So it was only videos of me in bed. But I got to talk to her and the other nurses too. But, um, they missed, um, they kept calling me he. It ticked me off. It really did. Like, you know. The simple fact, you're a nurse, an RN at that, you're helping people from surgery, from a sex change, okay? Why are you calling them the opposite sex that they, that they don't identify with?
But anywho, other than that little incident, there was some other stuff too. Um, I'm going to keep it real. Um, I ain't going to hold shit in. I'm, I tell it like it is. I don't bullshit. Um, the food was okay. I thought we would have like that little iPad where you can um order your food. No. The lady who would come in and will ask what I want to eat and she'll read me she'll read off the menu and everything. Um at first like she was kind of rude. A lot of them in there were kind of fr they were fucking rude. Um I didn't match the energy. I'm already a, um, a slight medium. So I can I can pick up on shit. Me meditating for, for long periods of hours and stuff like that. It does something. So when I was in that hospital. In that room. I put my eye mask on. So I can meditate. Oh my god. Um. It was a complete difference from when I'm here, when when I'm home and I'm meditating. Over there, oh my God. It was like stuff was, I was seeing some shit. Put it that way. Um, but I was like, hell yes. I seen so many black doctors and um, the, the person who was, who was giving you the, um, the sleepy stuff. She was black. I was like, yes, girl. Um, there was another black doctor. I was like, another black surgeon. I was like, yes, yes. It's so good to see a lot of black surgeons and doctors and all the other stuff that is. I was so happy. Um, it actually, it made my day. But as um, soon as they put that, what you call it in, I went, they, they wheeled me into the room. They had me go into this room and put on my gown. I brought me I brought my luggage. It was a small luggage and my backpack. And they was like they looked at me kind of weird. And I'm like, what? I brought everything they said to bring on that damn paper and plus some snacks, right? So um they're like, oh, we're gonna have to put your stuff in two lockers, like it was a like it was a problem or something. Um, I ain't got nobody here with me. So yes, do what you have to do. Put up my stuff. Um, so they will they put me in the bed. Um, they gave me my covers. I seen Doctor Del Corral and Doctor Um Lyle. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, doctors. Um, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Del Corral is very sweet and everything. I would recommend him to anyone. He's very cool. He's easy to talk to. And um, so he, after talking to him, they rolled me back into um, sedation. Oh my god, that room was cold, okay? That room was so cold. And I'm like, why is it so cold in here? And they're like looking at me. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> but um they're like, you're gonna have to lay down on this um this bed. Look like a little crucifixion bed. But anywho, I got on the bed. They um tied they did all their stuff. They took they um gave me a pill. And then they said this is th this is a pill for to take to take the edge off or whatever. I'm like, okay, I'm not nervous or anything. Um, I was ex I was more excited. My surgery time, start time was supposed to be one o'clock. Um, but um right before after they gave me the pill, they was asking me some questions and everything and. The lady came back from behind me and she, she was like, okay, we're going to put the mask on. Just breathe in. They tricked me. 
they tricked me because they're like, um, they didn't even tell me to count from back to from 100 to zero. They didn't say, they didn't say nothing. They were still talking to me while they, but while they put the mask on and I, all I can remember is me waking up. <laughs> This lady was telling me something. I was like, I didn't know what I didn't know what was, I didn't know what was going on. And um, so I woke up. They willed me to recovery. Um, and I stayed there. I think I fell back asleep, to be honest. And I woke up around like I think. Eight o'clock. That's when I made my first video. And I was like so shocked. I didn't have no pain. The wor the only the thing I was I was worried about was that damn catheter. I kept hearing so much stories about oh the catheter is gonna be so uncomfortable and blah blah blah. I was just worried about that damn catheter exploding my fucking PO. But to be honest, that catheter, I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it at all. I did not feel shit. Um, I woke up. When I woke up, they um told me to keep um the ice pack on it, which was cool. It um took down some of the swelling. I was so swole. Oh my god! Like oh my, I wasn't ready for that. Like, I didn't think that area can get that swollen. Look like I had a fucking fist. Just imagine putting your fist, ball your hand into a fist and put it down there. That's how much that shit was like. Um, that's how much it was swollen. Not on top, but on top of that. My thighs. Oh my gosh. I look like, I look like a fat person. No shade or whatever to, to the fat people. But um, it looked like I, I was a fat person who had liposuction on, this, on just the stomach. It looked fucking weird. I was like, oh my God, I don't know if I can come back from this. But I came back. The swelling and everything is going down. Um, but um, they put air. Since they're doing the peritoneal pull through. They take the um the peritoneal lining from your stomach and they flip it down or whatever, but they shoot air into your abdomen. And oh my god. Tur talking about like the worst case of gas and the shits. Okay, they make you drink this um bowel prep before surgery. I did that. I'm gonna upload that too. Because a lot of people don't know about the bowel prep. But, um, most girls, um, I heard from, from the YouTube that they couldn't, they couldn't shit. Me? Oh, no. They told me I couldn't get out of bed for three days. So I had to have a bedpan. I never experienced that. I have never, ever, ever experienced using a bedpan in bed. That was so uncomfortable. I think that was the most uncomfortable. It was actually the the most uncomfortable thing is them coming in, coming in and wiping your butt. That was the most uncomfortable space ever. <laughs> but um. Oh my god, I I had to it's like that those farts, that gas they push in there, they're like, oh, we want you to fart. Farts is happy for us. Farts is something I'm like, okay. And they're like, if you don't fart, um what she say, how she say it? She was like, if you don't fart within like a couple days or something like that, we're gonna have to give you some something. I forgot what it was. But um I farted. This was I think the second day I was in recovery. Oh my gosh. So I already took the Marilax. The Marilax is going to make your shit runny. So 
I'm already know. Okay, I was like, okay, let me just turn on my, let me just relax and like kind of like sit up a little bit and push just a little bit, just just a little bit, because like it felt weird. I thought the boo boo was gonna be everywhere because it's liquid, right? I kept farting. I'm like, oh my god, I think I'm I think I'm boo booing. And but but every time I farted, um, it re it released that pressure. So I was like, okay. But then it was weird. That freaking it was like a stuck fart. Have you ever had a stuck fart? But that that stuck fart instead of it coming out, it was going up with like too much fucking pressure. And I was like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, it was to the point where, like, you couldn't move. Like, it was so much pressure. That's the only, like, hurt and pain was from that fucking gas. They shot, they shot up in my my stomach. Um, So, every, like, probably hour or whatever, after I started that fart, I needed that bedpan. <laughs> and I would just push that button. And I'm like, and I'm like... I'll push it, like I, I'll I'll do my business or whatever. But when I'm done, I'll call. I'll push the button. I'll call the nurse. Let them know that can they come and wipe me or whatever because I just did number two. And every hour, I knew they was getting tired of me. Oh my goodness! But after that third day, they told me I can actually get up and walk. I thought I was going to be able to walk. Like around like the little hospital, like everybody else doing the videos. No. Couldn't come out the room. So um I went to the bathroom and I went I wanted to actually look in the mirror to see how my body looked or whatever. I was like, gosh, it looked crazy. It looked like Frankenstein. Like I looked like I had a Frankenstein body. Like my body didn't look like my body. Like I'm not like I'm not a dick bitch. I'm skinny. I'm I'm athletic. I do calisthenics for my legs. I don't work out my arms. Only time I work out my arms is when I'm lifting up my um damn unicycle because that thing is sixty seven pounds. Okay, I had to figure out a way. To counterweight my muscles to pick up that thing. This is before my surgery. Because that thing is heavy. But anywho. Um, yeah, I look like Frankenstein. Franken bitch. Franken trainee. Okay. So um I'm I started doing the videos. And um it wasn't long. They're like probably like five minutes long or whatever. But um, it was giving you like days. Um, as the days have gone by or whatever, I actually have some stuff. It's some people will say it's graphic, but it's not going to show my my. It's not going to show my cooch. The thing that I have on it was vacuum pad. Okay, this shit was vacuum pad. Never, I never, never in my life knew they would have some vacuum pack. They vacuum packed my cooch. <laughs> but, um, I was ready to leave. I was ready to leave. I was ready to go. I wanted to be in my bed. And,. I had nobody to talk to. So I watched my Gotham. I watched. Um, what else did I watch? I watched my TV shows. But. My favorite person. What, what was it? Gotham. Gotham. And. Um, Batwoman. My favorite person on Batwoman. Is fucking Alice. Alice is the fucking business. I don't care what nobody say. She, she is. She's the villain. But she's the fucking craziest. But she's just so fucking funny. I love her. 
Well, the character that she played. I love it. But I love Batwoman, too. But Alice, yeah. <laughs> but, um, what else happened? That brownie. Oh, my God. That brownie was so freaking good. Oh, and so every meal, I always ordered that brownie. And, um, they, t um, they came to check on me and, uh, um, Dr. Del Corral came in and checked on me and see how I was and everything. Um, everything was going good. Um, no pain still from the surgical site. I was still gagged. There was a lady who called me her skinny mini. <laughs> she was cool. She did, she showed me how to do my first dilation. And it was like so weird when she 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 took out the packing. I'm I'm thinking I'm going to see like the 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 forty five feet of um gauze coming out. Why did that thing look like when she pulled it out? It only looked like a a, a freaking condom. The thing wasn't even this freaking long. And I'm like, wait, how big is my freaking canal? It's six inches. I was like, okay. I was kind of upset. But girls, um, biological women's canals is four inches. But I'm like, but I be watching, the, I used to watch the porn. And them, them girls be taking them dicks. So, I was like, you know what, um, once everything is healed or whatever, we'll see what, what the hell happens. But I was, I didn't see my clit until after I got home. And not even when I got home, it was, this, it was, it's supposed to be the two week mark that I go see, that I go back to um Dr. Corral for him to go, to look at me. It was like a day before I had to go see him. That's when I first seen my clip. But when I when they first showed me how it looked after the, after the third day of being on bed rest, um um how you say that? It looked like a freaking oyster. Like the hair's like the labia, right? And like right in the middle was like that little, it looked like a freaking um, oyster. So I'm like, okay. They got myself looking fancy or whatever. But no, that wasn't even, that wasn't even my freaking clip. I can see it now. It looked like a little dick. But anywho, it's cute. I'm very satisfied on how it looks and everything. It looks like a, like a baby cooch. Like it looks freaking looks good it looks really good <laughs> um the swelling went down it's still going down nobody told me to use the silver cream before i got discharged from that damn hospital um yeah so i let dr corral know what the hell's going on with that hospital those staff yeah, his little staff that works up there. He needs new staff. He needs trans staff. Either gay or trans. Because these fools who work up there at the desk, they was not the business, honey. They was not welcoming. They almost got it for me. I don't hold my tongue. A lot of y'all that know me, I don't hold my tongue. Um, it really pissed me off. Um, but anywho, I let him know. So if it takes me to do a video to grab girls or men or trans women or trans men or whoever that's in the community who works in medical field to go work for Dr. Um, Del Corral. Because how, how they, uh-uh, no. 
How they be? Mm mm. But anywho, I'm going to start a new channel. I'm going to be going live on everything that I do. So there's going to be times I want to go live cooking. So y'all can see her with that. Um, I don't know what this surgery did, but it kind of, it woke me up. It really did. Um, but yeah, there's going to be more. So get ready for some live, some live streams, honey. Okay. But I came home. And everything has been going well. I was supposed to save up for the surgery and, and stuff so I can have so I can have everything that I need. Um I got the puppy pads, I got um my, my maxi pads. Um but I ran out. Mind you, I ain't got no man. I ain't got I'm I don't like women like that. Um so it's just me. Um if I didn't have this unicycle I don't know what I don't know what business I would be in because um I showed they went to the store. I was I'm supposed to be on bed rest for a whole month. I need pads. I need gauze. I need more lube or whatever. You best better believe I'm gonna go all my shit and go to the store. I always been by myself. Um, so I learned how to survive on my own. I may have lived with a lot of people, but like I stay to myself. Like I stay in my room. When I'm home, I'm in my room. I don't be out there. Especially with him. No. He violated the friendship. He done told this one guy to come and cut the grass that I'm his wife's friend. Like, bitch, what? I don't even know your fucking wife. Why would you lie like that? Like, friends don't do that kind of shit. There was some other sneaky shit that he did that made me know that he had no fucking friend. But anywho, that's why I didn't let him come to my, um, to my shit. The predator. But anywho, I'll be back. Like, share, and subscribe. Be prepared for more videos and live streams. Okay? Love y'all. Bye. Okay, check this out, right? Okay, when I was a little kid, my blood type was O. I even have the green card at home that says O. I asked the doctors here, what blood type am I? Guess what they tell me? An A plus. Like, when in, the ha when in the hell did that happen? I never had a transplant of, um, what is that thing called? Um, bone marrow transplant. I never had no blood transfusion. Man, had to happen. I don't know. The A plus. Okay, I'll take that. An a I got A plus blood. It's an A plus. <laughs> oh my god. But anywho... Welcome back to the channel. Um, this is this is day two. Oh my god! Oh, that's oh my god! I thought I had some paper on my what you gonna call it? I'm drinking me some coffee, okay? So I'm in zero pain, only just discomfort. Um. I thought they was going to give me an epidural. That's what I was seeing all the girls getting an epidural. So they can't feel nothing from the, from their legs down. But they was like, nope. We're not giving you no epidural. Like, okay. Okay. So, no epidural. Pain is like a zero. Um, I can't get out of bed until Sunday. Actually, Saturday. I came here on a Wednesday. I can't get out of bed. It's fine. 
I'll watch my Gotham and enjoy my time here. But, um, yeah. So, let me flip it. There is the catheter. It's, it's, um, you're not going to be able to see anything because it's, um, how would you say that? It's covered with stuff, but bam, it's gone, honey. They gave me some, a, a type of special medicine that makes my pee look freaking gold. How you gonna act? And then, on this side is the drain. Okay, so, and I haven't taken my, um, what's that thing called? What's that thing called? My hormones in over a month, probably like a month and a half, and, um, I can feel it. I can feel the testosterone was coming back, but now... She snipped. Ain't no coming back. But they did a robotic um, procedure. And this this is my stomach. They went in. They went ham, honey. They went in. They showed it. Went through my abdomen. 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 Fuck it. Fuck it. Andromen. And but, um, yeah, there's no pain. I thought it was going to be like a lot of pain. But there's no pain. There's no fucking pain. The stuff they got packed down there. It's vacuum um, sucked by that machine right there. And this machine is doing my legs. It's pumping up my legs. Which, which one is doing it? Oh, I don't know which one is doing it. But it's doing the it's doing legs. So, oh my god. It hasn't been 24 hours yet. And say I had the surgery because I got it at I had the surgery at one, so by one o'clock it'll be twenty four hours. <laughs> twenty four hours. Day three, well, almost day three. So it's it's eleven, twelve. PM. But oh my god, she's flat. <laughs> she's so flat. I love it. <laughs> Good night. Today is day three. I just got lunch. This is pretty. It's some type of pizza. Looks so good, right? And there's the brownie. The brownie is so good. I don't like the. I don't like the frosting on it, but they let me out. They let me out of the bed, so now I can eat and have my little lunch out of bed. <laughs>